Hey everyone, and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to do a billboard mock-up in Photoshop. Now, what we won't be doing is we will not be producing a full print-ready resolution billboard. We'll just be mocking something up in Photoshop to show what a billboard would look like as if you were presenting it to a client or uh, just doing it for some particular type of photo manipulation that needed that. So you can see how mine here is set up for final, but I'm just going to go ahead and undo all of this so that you can actually see the process and I can walk you step by step how I did this in the tutorial. And you kind of get a little bit of idea from my current setup, how I approached this, and that I had to select out the actual billboard itself first before moving on and actually incorporating the artwork. The main tools we're going to be using is we're going to be using um, a method of selection here that I haven't really used before. Uh, we're actually going to use the magic wand, believe it or not, because it's the most appropriate tool for this particular uh, billboard. We're also going to be using guides, and we're actually going to be using the transform distort tools today. So let's go ahead and jump right in and start with duplicating our layer. As you can see, we're going to need to select the billboard here. So in this case, we're actually going to just use the magic wand because it's the most appropriate tool for this. Since we have so many clouds in the background, we're not going to use um, the color select method that I've used in previous tutorials that I've showed you how to use. And also, I think that for the sake of speed, that this is the best tool. So we're going to do that. We're going to put a layer in between these, and I'm just going to color it just so that when we mask it, um, it becomes very obvious and we can see what's going on here so I just want to make it really clear and understandable for you and that's why we're doing that you don't need to do that but um, there's also another reason to have that layer in between and I'll get to that in a moment so once we have our selection we just go ahead and we mask it and uh, in this case you want to go ahead and um, if you don't have your selection inverted you'll want to do that you can do that either by inverting the mask itself with uh, Control shift i or Command shift i on Mac or you can actually hold down the Alt key when clicking your mask. So you can see that we have the selection that we want. So now we're just going to go ahead and drag guides and you'll want to have um, your rulers visible to go ahead and drag these guides out from the side. Uh, you can just hit shortcut R for that and you'll um, be able to see the guides and rulers there. So I'm just making um, guides here on each of the corners. We're ultimately going to line up our distorted image to the edges of our billboard and um, get them going parallel to the um, edges here at the top and bottom on the slant. But just having these guides, for me, is helpful to have them in the corners and I find that it's just easier for me to make accurate distortions when I have guides but that's me you can use whatever method you want you don't have to necessarily use these you could just eyeball it if you want to so I'm gonna go into bridge I'm going to select uh, this photo manipulation that I've done previously and I'm going to drop it into my um, canvas here Now, once you go ahead and you drag your image into your canvas, just depending on what your image is, uh, you may need to resize it, make it larger, and when you're doing that, make sure you drag from the corners and that you're holding shift. If you want to also keep it in place in the center when you're doing this, you can hold alt and shift as you drag the corners. So the first step you're going to want to do is drag the corners. If for some reason you let go too early and the image gets distorted, you can go up back to the uh, width and height values and you can just manually adjust that and that will take care of it the other thing you can do is you can actually make sure that you um, lock the link looking button there at the top and that will keep your um, image scaling in proportion so if you uh, right click you can actually get the uh, transform controls or you can um, control shift T and then you can right click and get those option menus out if not uh, you can go to edit transform and select distort but once you select distort make sure you drag from the corners of your image and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line up your edges with the actual edges of the billboard and another good trick that I'm using for this is you see the panels that run off at the top and the bottom of the billboard I'm actually using those more than anything else as my guide so I don't have to rely completely on the edges of the billboard itself 
for my proportions and for my angles. So once you've done that and you're comfortable with it, and in some cases you'll want to zoom in, especially if you want to get this perfect, which is uh, what I'm actually getting ready to do here in a moment. I'm going to zoom in a bit just so that I can see how accurate the lineup is for these angles because you know the more precise you get it, the more realistic it looks. But in terms of a quick and dirty mock-up, if you're doing something for the sake of time, you don't have to be super precise with this. Something like what we already have is probably good enough um, to get the main idea across, but I, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, even when I'm doing these tutorials sometimes. So I'm just going to zoom in here and lining up the way I think it needs to be. But once you've done that, uh, you can go back up to the top, select your check mark, or hit enter to confirm your distortion changes. Um, in some cases, you can convert to a smart object and you can still distort. Um, and there's other different ways you could do this. You could also use the vanishing point tool, but I just prefer for the sake of speed to use the distort method. Um, so that actually looks pretty good, but um, it almost looks too good. And I'm going to show you a trick. I'm actually going to convert our background here to white, which is if they were putting the panels um, to print this on a billboard, it would be white anyway. And then I'm going to lower the opacity of the image by about 90% here after I group these. Um, just so that it's as if it was actually printed on here and so it's not looking quote unquote too perfect um, and that's what I'm going to do. The other thing I did was I grouped these two layers, our solid background with our actual image. You don't have to do that, it's just something that I prefer to do personally to keep it um, a little organized. I also took off um, the background layer so that you could just um, see a little bit of um, what's going on when I deselect the visibility so you can see it's truly masked out, etc. Again, something you don't have to do. But ultimately, this is how you go ahead and you create a quick mock-up billboard. This will work in most cases. There's plenty of free uh, billboard stock images that you can download online specifically for this purpose of uh, demonstration. And again, uh, real quick, I'm just going to um, show you what I was talking about with uh, reducing the opacity here to 90% on this image so that, again, it doesn't look absolutely perfect. Um, you can also change the blend modes as needed because sometimes it'll depend on what the real material is that you would be printing on for this. So, again, if you want to make it look slightly more realistic, this is an option. And because we've worked mostly non-destructively here, you can also make want use your curves, use any adjustment layers that you like. Um, again, uh, this is just a quick demonstration, so I didn't get too far into it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like this video if you like it, subscribe, and don't forget to share.